Hey YouTube, just a quick video here. Um, another gripe from Project Air. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about drones in the media. Uh, I know we don't really call them drones, but um, that's kind of the name for them that the media has given us, so I, I'm afraid that that term is probably here to stay. Um, here today I have the Drudge Report, and it's one of my more frequent uh, news sites that I like to catch up on news with. And I like most of the news reports that Drudge puts out, but um, the one thing I've never understood is Drudge's, Matt Drudge's obsession with the drones. He literally has in my opinion an unhealthy obsession with drones because it doesn't matter how much uh, damage something is done I mean it could you know a little bitty pocket drone could fall down and uh, snap a propeller in front of somebody and it's gonna make it on the Drudge Report I just I don't understand it and frankly I'm getting pretty tired of it um, today for instance It says here, it says, <clears throat> Drone strike. Our photographer injured by TGI Friday's mistletoe copter. Well, first off, you and me and other RC flyers are going to ask ourselves, uh, what the hell is somebody flying a, you know, a copter around people in a restaurant for? But that's not the biggest issue. Uh, the biggest issue is uh, this Yahoo here. It shows him putting together, or putting props on, or I don't know what exactly he's doing, but he ha looks like he has like a 500, 550 size hexcopter here with a GoPro, uh, big radio, and some kind of makeshift goggles, looks like. Um, even though this is not the drone that they're referring to that did the damage, this is the first, per this is the first picture you're going to see on the news. And although Drudge doesn't, um, he's just a conglomerate. He just, um, basically he pulls news from sites all around the world. So he doesn't actually write articles. But anything that has to do with drones is going to show up on the Drudge Report front page. But anyways, here again you got a 550 hexcopter. Uh, let's go to the next picture. Now... In his hand, he's got a little bitty, looks like a toy controller, with a little bitty toy uh, quadcopter holding a mistletoe. Nothing like the hexcopter that it showed earlier. So why even post a picture of the hexcopter? This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, even with a little quad like this, it's just not safe in a restaurant uh, environment. Anyways, apparently he flew it and nicked uh, one of the reporters that was, I guess, photographing the the process. But anyways, he flies this little quad. You can see this little bitty quad here. Nothing like the 550 we saw. And um, basically flies it over people's heads with the mistletoe. And they're supposed to kiss. And people think it's just great. And, and uh, you know, it's just something they've never seen before. And down here, you can see that he's got the 550 or 500. I'm not sure what size it is. It looks like a 500 to me. And he's flying it over somebody else's head. Now, this is insanity. I I wouldn't even do a small copter, much less a big one. My guess is he probably knew this couple. And he probably attempted to try it over their head. Well, here's the reporter. Uh, the news article, I'm not going to go into depth, but basically it said that it, it got her in the face and that it was bleeding profusely, that she couldn't stop the bleeding. Now if you look, she's got a little bitty neck on her nose and a little one on her chin. I mean, that doesn't even, I mean, that looks like a paper cut. Um, yeah, I would be pissed off if somebody hit me with a multi-rotor, but really I mean this is gonna make the news this is gonna make drudge 
it's happened at one location and I mean it's huge news and it's not just this article I mean there's tons of articles uh, that are in the same category but with Drudge it doesn't matter um, what happens I mean a, dr a drone could fly and, and knock over a glass and spill a drink it's going to be on the Drudge report all the other news that he puts out is great very informative but he has some kind of unhealthy obsession with drones and quite frankly I think he's actually uh, somewhat responsible for a lot of the actions that the FAA are putting out because you know Drudge is a huge site but um, anyways I'm just putting in my two cents I just uh, I think it's ridiculous I do think that there are a lot of idiots out there that uh, will do stupid things with drones but um, the fact that every little uh, thing that has the word drone in it is going to show up on a major news uh, website it's just uh, it's killing us it's killing the hobby and uh, I'm pretty sure that's the goal but anyways um, comments thoughts let me know what you think uh, that's just my opinion of course of the drudge Matt Drudge and and his obsession but uh, anyways it's it's people like the, that guy um, that's pushing for the, the hop I mean pushing for this to do something drastic you know whether they ban multi rotors or ban RC aircraft um, either way it's um it's bad for the hobby and uh, I hope somebody calls him on it uh, I have no way to really contact Matt Drudge but um, I wish somebody would kind of call him on it but I don't think it's gonna happen I think it's just kind of a waiting game and we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.